Hey everyone, it's Brian from Strigler Photography. We have a great topic for you today. So if you are brand new to the whole wedding planning, if you just got engaged, if you have a lot of vendors you still need to book, this topic is gonna be great for you. So when you start looking and planning and trying to book all these vendors, you need to hire professionals. So you, you, what does that mean? What's a professional? When I'm talking about a professional, I mean someone that is treating it like a business, not a hobby. Someone that is doing this several times a year, they're trying to grow this business, they're trying to make money from it. Not someone who does two weddings a year, only does it for their friends and family, and just, you know, does it because it's kind of fun. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about when I talk about professionals. So, let's jump into this and let's talk more why you need to hire professionals for your wedding. So. Before we get into any of this, let's talk about why you should even listen to me or who who I am. So I uh, was a teacher for 10 years, and while I was doing that, I was building my wedding photography business on the side. So there were, there were a few years there where I would not have considered myself a professional. I did maybe, maybe three weddings a year, and it was just kind of a part here and there type thing, not even really a part-time job. Um, but after a few years, it became a professional adventure. I was going at it hard. I was doing this almost like another full-time job. So I was kind of like teaching and then another full-time job. Um, so recently, I actually stopped teaching and now I am just a full-time wedding photographer. So as far as how I got to where I am, um, it's kind of an interesting story, but I started way back in 10th grade at Fayetteville High School where I worked, uh, I took some photography classes and I did, a, did yearbook my 11th and 12th grade year and I just really learned to love photography and learned kind of the basics of it. So then in college, I got to have some real fun. I got to work with a professional photographer and I got to work for this magazine called Hogs Illustrated, got to be on the sidelines for some Razorback football games, um, actually got a cover photo right there, which I'm really proud of, and then uh, uh, kind of took a break, but my junior year I bought my own camera and started pursuing, pursuing it on my own. Ended up getting married, going out to be a teacher, and the, the photography stuff kind of was on the side again. Shot my first wedding in 2008, and then eight years later, that's when I stopped being a teacher, and that is when I became a full-time photographer. All right, so if you want a real, real quick breakdown of all this so you know what to expect, or if you just don't want to listen to me talk for the whole time, here are the five reasons you need to be hiring wedding or professionals for your wedding. Number one, they have skills and training. Number two, they have the equipment and supplies that they need. Three, they have lots of experience. Four, they are focused on weddings and this business. And five, you're gonna have a ton of confidence when you hire them. All right, so let's jump through each one of these and kind of go into more detail. Number one, skills and training. So when you hire someone, you hope that they have the skills. You hope they have the ability to accomplish whatever it is you need done. Now, I have photography skills and I have video skills, but there are plenty of skills I lack, and you would not want to hire me um, to do lots of things for your wedding. I am not great with flowers, I'm not great with music, um, I'm not going to be the person you want cooking your food. There are a lot of things that I am not skilled at. So. When you hire a professional, you know they have those skills. You know they have the ability to do whatever it is you are needing. And a lot of them, if you're a real professional, um, you have things like awards that you've won because you're that good and you're that talented. Um, you may be in a professional organization. Uh, like I am in the PPA, which is Professional Photographers of America. That's an organization I have to pay to be in every year, and it, it continues to build my skill and training, um, educate me. So they have all types of educational events, but it's something I'm involved in to get better at what I'm doing. Um, some, some of these professionals even have like certifications. 
So like you can get certifications in probably almost all of these different areas, but when you have that, it's proof that you have the skills to do everything you need to do for that wedding. And that's awesome. You want someone who has the skills and the training, not someone that has a camera and doesn't really know how to use it or someone you know that's been to a few weddings so she wants to be your wedding planner. You want someone who has that skill, has that training, so you can be confident in them. Okay, number two, equipment and supplies. Um, so I was I was going out to a wedding a while back, and we were actually doing photo and video for that wedding. And I was thinking, I'm driving driving to the wedding with all this equipment in my truck, and I was like, if I got in a wreck, how much how much equipment? Um, how much money would I lose on all this equipment? Well, I do have insurance, but still, I was carrying probably about $20,000 worth of a photography and video equipment with me in that truck. And I needed all that equipment. I used 90% of that equipment that day, and then the other 10% was backup or things I was gonna use in certain situations. You need equipment, you need supplies to deal with a wedding to be a professional. Um, I've talked to I've talked to people that are going to be photographing weddings before, and it's scary what some of them will go into a wedding with their lack of equipment. Um, I had one person I was talking to, and they were going to a wedding with um, one body, one lens, one memory card, and one battery. That's it. So very limiting, first of all, what you can do with that. But if anything happened to any of that stuff they were in a lot of trouble. Um, and so you can think about equipment and supplies, like you wouldn't, you'd be really surprised if a painter showed up without a brush, or if they only had one brush and they only knew how to use one brush. That's not how this works. There are lots of different things professionals need, and professionals are the ones that are gonna have all that equipment and have all those supplies. And as I said, you also have backups in case something happens, okay? If, if something breaks, do you have another one to replace it and to keep going, or are you just out of luck? Um, professionals are also people that are able to get things quickly. So if you need something special, if you need something unique, we have the connections, we have the money to buy those things, we can get what you need. Um, I've, I've seen it before with florists and something, something happened but they were able to reach out, get their supplies, bring in, fix whatever was needed. And if you're, again, just someone who's doing this occasionally, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're not gonna have those extra supplies sitting around and those extra things needed. And it's going to be a sad day for the bride. All right. So um, each wedding is so different. I mean, every wedding is so different. Besides just the people you have, the different locations, the different atmosphere, the different uh, time of year, there's so many things that play into it. And you need to be able to have someone that can deal with any situation. And the best way to be able to deal with any situation is to have experience and have dealt with those situations in the past. Um, so this photo I, I've included right here actually shows an interesting experience situation I've dealt with before. So what if it rains on your wedding day? Are you just out of luck and you don't get any photos or are you just completely done? Um, it definitely is limiting and can make life a little bit more difficult, but I've, I've found ways to still make awesome photos even if it is rainy and gross outside. Other photographers would just give up and they wouldn't be able to do anything. So the more experiences you have, the better you are able to deal with certain situations. You've seen it before, you know how to do it. And the more you do stuff, the, uh, the better you're gonna get, the faster you're gonna get, the more tips and tricks you've learned over the years. And again, if you're hiring someone that's only been to, they've only worked maybe three weddings, how much experience do they really have? How much have they really seen? How much have they had to deal with? But if you're hiring a professional who does this like every weekend, then you're talking about someone that maybe does anywhere from 
30 to 50 weddings a year and they get to see all those different situations and deal with all those different uh, problems and they know how to deal with it and they will take care of you. I think this is also a really important thing. Um, when you're a professional, you are focused on weddings. You're not doing it just on the side, something that's, you know, something that you do once every five months. Um, I will, like every day I'm thinking about weddings, every day I'm dealing with weddings, every day I'm dealing with photography. That's my world. Um, as I said earlier, back when I was uh, a teacher, I had distractions. I mean, when I was only doing a few weddings a year, I, I thought about weddings very rarely and I did stuff with weddings very rarely. My life was focused on teaching and that's what I did. So when you have these other people, they're going to have other things in their life that are taking away from um, their time they can spend focusing on you and thinking about you and the things they need to do for you. Um, it's not the, it's not their center of their world. It's not what they really care about. So when you hire a professional, this is what we do. This is our life. This is our job. This is what we think about and we, we deal with every day. Um, another big thing is, I mean, as I just said, this, this is our job. So we care about our reputation. We care about the future. We aren't going to let something happen to you that's going to uh, risk our reputation and risk our future and not being able to book any more weddings um, because this is our living and this is what we do. So we're going to make sure we do everything and take care of you. Um, another, another really interesting thing, professionals are going to follow the law. That means they're going to pay taxes, collect taxes. That means we're going to have insurance that covers us and covers the situation in case something happens. I, that's not going to happen with people that aren't professionals, that people that, again, only do this here and there. There's no way they're going to spend that kind of money on insurance when they only do two weddings a year. Okay, Most of them don't even know that they're supposed to be collecting taxes. I mean, I've seen that before with some, with some companies that were, uh, again, people who were only kind of doing this on the side where they actually got in trouble because they hadn't been collecting taxes and they could easily shut down their business because they weren't being professional. And then again, they may not care because it's not their main focus. They'll just go on and go back to their regular job and say, well, that was fun doing weddings for a while, but I'm done now and I'm, I'm just gonna focus on my other job. Professionals aren't like that. And with all of this put together, guys, here's the biggest thing. When you hire a professional, you are gonna feel confident, you're gonna feel safe and secure. You're not gonna be worrying about whether or not things are taken care of. Um, you're gonna feel so much better and relieved about it all. You know it's all going to go smoothly and it's all gonna get taken care of and it's all going to be all right. Um, so all of those things I mentioned before kind of lead up to this. All those things before, having the skills, having the equipment, having the experience, focusing on weddings, all that's going to lead up to you feeling confident and feeling so much um, more relaxed during your wedding, before your wedding, after your wedding. But if you're hiring someone that's not a professional, in the back of your mind, there's probably going to be some worry, some some doubt. You're going to say, oh, I wonder if they actually know what they're doing. Is this going to turn out okay? You don't want to feel that way on your wedding day. You want to feel confident you want to feel relaxed so hire professionals that are going to take care of you and they're going to make your day wonderful okay guys I'm gonna, I know I've been saying it over and over again throughout this whole uh, video but I'm gonna say it again you need to hire professionals it's gonna make your wedding so much smoother so much easier so much better and uh, like I said that that last point is so important you will feel confident you will feel relaxed. You'll have be able to let let them do their job and have a good time. Um, if you're having to worry about you know your photographer whether they know what they're doing, or if you have to your your mom's running around trying to do things, that's not gonna make you feel relaxed. Um, you you want to feel relaxed. You want to have it to be a wonderful day, and you don't want the stress and all that stuff that comes with it. So guys, if there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out to me. 
um, if you want more details, if you want to know about certain vendors, if there's anything I can do to help, that's what I'm here for and that's what I want to do. I want you to have a wonderful wedding and I want it to be um, just as smooth and perfect for you as I can. Thanks guys.